What's going on guys, Ben here, and I just got back from New York City on my week-long vacation, so I'm back ready to make some more videos for you guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to record the screen of any iOS device. Now to get this job done, you're going to need a couple things. One is the app called Reflector. Now they do have a 10 minute free trial that you can try. The link for that will be in the description below, or you can also pay it, I believe it's around $10. And the second thing you're going to need is an iOS device, of course. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure the application is open and that your computer as well as your iOS device are both on the same Wi-Fi network. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your iOS device settings and you're gonna to want to go on AirPlay and select the computer that you're using and make sure mirroring is on. As you can see, I have it on right here and I'm just gonna shrink it down uh, so you guys can see a little bit more and we'll say that's about good and we can reposition this right to the middle of our screen. Now, if you don't know how to get AirPlay on, I'm using iOS 7, so you're just going to want to open up Control Center, select the AirPlay function, and make sure you select your computer and turn on mirroring. Once those steps are complete, you should see whatever you see on your iOS device right onto your computer. Now, for the time being, my Wi-Fi is being used by my family on Netflix right now, so this is going to be a little slow, but for the most part, it runs perfectly smooth. I can open up apps, as you can see right here, do whatever I'd like to do. I also tried recording some game footage. I don't know if you guys have been playing the game Clash of Clans. I have been playing that quite a bit, and I've done some recording of some footage in that game, and it runs just perfectly with no lag at all. So if you want to record your footage, which is probably what most of you are going to be doing, you want to go into the menu bar and you want to select device. Now in device, we have a few settings. We can change the frame skin so we can go iOS black, iPhone, white iPhone, whichever we'd like. We also have some other options, but we're going to want to hit start recording. Now once we do this, it is going to be recording what we have on our iOS device. So I'm going to open up calculator again, and we're just going to punch in a couple new numbers here and we'll close it up and then we can also end the recording by hitting command r and then we can name the recording and save it to wherever we'd like i'm just going to save it to the desktop to make uh, time go a little quicker and as you can see once it's done exporting we have our video that we just recorded right on our desktop as you can see here and we can select play and it will go through what we did on our ios device as you can see here we opened up the calculator app punched in a few numbers and as I said before, it is lagging just a little bit right now, but for the most part, it will have very little lag and it works seamlessly right between the two devices. One great thing about this also is that it works in landscape mode, so you can turn your phone horizontally if you want to play games and record, and that's what I did with Clash of Clans. Well guys, that wraps it up for the application. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm sure many of you guys are going to find a great use for this application. And yeah, if you have any questions regarding this video or just anything in general, leave them in the comment section below as well as like the video if you enjoyed. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out grow my YouTube channel and hopefully I will be having some more content to you guys in the coming few days. So if you enjoyed, once again, like the video, leave a comment and I'll catch you all next time.